the carbon cycle and oxygen cycle are important to maintain the content of carbon dioxide gas and oxygen gas in the air. Both processes are closely interconnected in maintaining the balance of air composition. Carbon cycle The carbon cycle is the cycle that maintains the content of carbon dioxide in the air by continuously taking carbon dioxide from the air and also returning it to the air. The content of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are maintained by processes such as photosynthesis, respiration, combustion and decomposition. Carbon cycle begins when green plants absorb carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. Green plants use carbon dioxide and sunlight to make their own food and grow. Animals that eat the plants obtain carbon compounds from them. In another word, during photosynthesis process, carbon dioxide is taken from the atmosphere. When the plants and animals die, they decompose. Decomposition caused by bacteria and fungi in the soil releases carbon dioxide and returns carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. The dead plants and animals will be buried and converted into fossil fuels after millions of years. When humans burn fossil fuels like petroleum and coal, the carbon inside the fossil fuels will combine with oxygen to form carbon dioxide gas and release to the atmosphere. During respiration, all plants and animals release carbon dioxide back to the air. In short, photosynthesis removes carbon dioxide from air, whereas respiration, decomposition and combustion return carbon dioxide back into atmosphere. These processes maintain the content of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere at a rather fixed level of 0.03% by continuously taking carbon dioxide from the air and returning it to the air. Next, let's look at oxygen cycle. The oxygen cycle is a continuous cycle that takes oxygen from the air and returns it to the air. The processes that take oxygen from the air are respiration, combustion, rusting and decomposition. The oxygen required for respiration, combustion, rusting and decomposition is produced in photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, the oxygen produced will be returned to the air. In another word, there are four processes that withdraw oxygen from the air, namely respiration, combustion, rusting and decomposition, and only one process that is photosynthesis will return oxygen back into air. From what you have learned, we can see that the photosynthesis process is very important as it is the only process that uses up carbon dioxide in the air and returns oxygen back into the air. The destruction of green plants, also known as green lungs, causes fewer trees to release oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere during photosynthesis. As a result, the oxygen content in the atmosphere decreases while carbon dioxide content increases. The oxygen and carbon cycle are closely related in maintaining the percentage of oxygen and carbon dioxide gases in the atmosphere. This is important to maintain the carbon-oxygen balance in the Earth. Unfortunately, the oxygen and carbon cycles are disrupted 
due to human activities that cause the increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Burning of fossil fuels is the leading cause of the increase in the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air. High amount of carbon dioxide has been released from factories, exhaust of motor vehicles, forest fires and open burnings. At the same time, illegal logging and deforestation have been carried out widely for the development of various facilities and infrastructures. Increase in the carbon dioxide causes global warming, a process capable of changing the world's climate significantly. If this situation remains uncontrolled, it may result in the disruption of ecosystems. Therefore, suitable measures should be taken to ensure balanced amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. These measures include prohibition of illegal logging, banning of forest burning and open burning, preventing forest fires, preservation and conservation of forests, replanting trees, preventing harmful exhaust gas from vehicles, substitution of short distance travel by foot or bicycle instead of motorized vehicles to reduce the emission of carbon dioxide, efficient usage of energy or even better usage of renewable energy to replace fossil fuels. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.